Welcome back everybody to another episode of House Flipper. Now today is a bit of a shorter day for me. Um, so we're going to kind of get right into it. Now what I'm hoping is, is I'm going to actually be able to buy both these houses and, and flip them. Since they're smaller houses it should be okay. Uh, now back in episode 1 or 2 we kind of went crazy with the one house and ended up taking a lot of time to do so hopefully this one won't take up as much time so we're either going to do this house and this house or we're only going to do one of the houses so let's start with it we're going to do the burned house uh, definitely need some work on the outside inside is not much better in fact it looks like a very very similar to the first house we did so let's buy it and let's go there and check it out Yeah, this looks very similar to that first house, so in the first house we, what did we do? We gutted uh, one of the rooms. Yeah, this needs a lot, a lot of work. It won't be too bad with mowing the lawn, but in the first house we um, we destroyed one of the walls and moved the bathroom smaller, made a little bedroom in the corner. And this house looks like it's exactly the same shape. Um... So yeah, last time we made the bathroom in here, and oh, it's a little bit different. It's definitely a little bit different. So we've got a lot more room to work with, unless we just knocked this out and made that. I don't know what we did. Um, little back porch here, okay. This is the most disgusting washing room I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's got potential. Uh, we'll probably keep the bathroom back here. And keep the kitchen here. We'll probably keep the exact same layout as what is here right now. Just make it look a lot better. Because this isn't a terrible layout. Uh, yeah. So let's get started. We're going to start mowing the lawn and getting rid of everything that's just falling apart <laughs> um, so yeah we'll be right back all right welcome back we have done the lawn it looks all good the house doesn't look so great but again we'll just have to uh, do our first exterior here everything is cleared out and this is what the house actually looks like with nothing inside next step is we are going to hit up the bathroom and make some changes and we'll be right back as soon as we're done here we go again I have, oops, I have completed the bathroom. This is me kind of prototyping uh, what I'm gonna do for the kitchen, obviously not this. I'm thinking I might do something with this, I don't know yet, just kind of popped into my head. Um, and I did paint the whole house white, just so that it looks better, and if you know we decide to leave it, then you know, white's perfect. So without any further ado, this is our bathroom. Got a nice little towel rack here, clock on the wall. Uh, these are actually four separate mirrors, but because there's no border, I was able to put them side by side like this. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, just put, put a little double light up here, and it really helps to brighten it up. Same thing down here, two little mats. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, balsam, I think that was called. Uh, shampoo soap and this is like a book about success I think it was I think just a little painting here um, so obviously we're going with black and white with red kind of being our accent color so you can really tell what you know what uh, drives your eyes to it so very very pleased with this bathroom I think next we are going to work on this lovely tiny kitchen here um, really not much room so we might have to put like a little table out here sort of thing might knock this wall down uh, on this side here uh, just to give us a bit more of an opening because there's no reason that the kitchen has to be blocked off so I don't know we're gonna play around with it and uh, we'll be right back we are back and we've made a bit of progress so obviously this is not the room we did the progress on this is our bathroom we just finished we did the kitchen. 
So I went with an amaranth on the wall uh, for here and here, and then uh, I think it was pastel pink on these walls here, and just a very basic white uh, floor. And over here we've got ourselves a dishwasher, an oven, a stove, a hood that can open for some weird reason. Uh, threw in some cupboards here uh, for storage and stuff. Threw some vases up here just to fill the space with a clock. And I found this, didn't even know this was in the game. Little utensil holder. Uh, knife holder is right here beside the sink. Same with the cutting board. We've got a sugar, uh, coffee and tea and a bowl of mixed fruits and some more kitchen utensils with just a regular basic black refrigerator because uh, I think it kind of goes really nice with the uh, amaranth walls and then just a small little table here in the corner a uh, cup and a plate for both knife and fork for both and then just a little jug back here it's like it's it's a milk jug but obviously you can use it for whatever you want uh, just for a little piece of art Decided to stick the tomatoes on the wall just because black goes with this and red goes kind of with the wall, uh, so good fit. And then just underneath the blinds, we have two plants in each sill. And I'm envisioning this house as uh, generally like it would be a couple. So, you know, a woman gets to design the whole area herself, and the guy says, No, there's one thing I want to have, it's this, and he keeps it in his house. So that's the story with this, and I'm sticking with it. It had nothing to do with the fact that I have nothing else that could really go in the space, but no, it's that's my story. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to work in this huge area here called our living room, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We have done a contrast of colors here. Uh, we've done a nice, uh, what's this one here? Ice blue in here. Uh, with some teal things in the window. I know it doesn't really look teal, not to me anyways, but it said teal, so. Uh, and then just like a little black um, seat here so that, you know, when you grab your book, you've got somewhere you can sit down and read and relax. And just a little thing here that when you come in, you can plop something on here, uh, put your keys on there, whatever, you know, check your hair and you're good to go. And then you put your coats uh, all right here. So. All in all, very small room. I've decided to go with this flooring throughout the rest of the house. Um, I like it. I am going to actually change this all the way along here back to white. Uh, just to kind of give a bit of a border between the two rooms. Um, let's see if this looks good. So we'll quickly grab this. Mm. Not in love with it. <laughs> um. I might end up, no, I was going to say, I was going to throw a door in here just so I can not look at this white and then blue or white and then pink, but I don't think a door works here. I think it would really ruin what we're going for, so uh, we're just going to have to leave it. Um, you know, in real life, we'd have a lot more solutions for something like this, but We'll just have to make do with what we've got. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy with this room. And, uh, yeah, I just wish there's more contrast, but anyway, or less contrast, sorry, not more. Uh, you don't want more contrast than pink and blue. <laughs> uh, anyway, next we have the um, bedroom here to do. It's going to be pretty simple. You know, probably just a bed here dresser here maybe a rug something on the wall here but all in all it's gonna be pretty quick um, so we'll come back when we've done that and we need to do something to this outside as well because this is just horrible if you remember this is what it looked like when we first started um, we've come a long way but 
not on the outside we haven't and we may do some decorations and stuff out here I haven't decided yet um, but when we do obviously we'll cross that bridge when we get there so for now let's get into the bedroom all right we are here with another update a um, couple updates really so I decided to extend the wall here and actually put a door frame in here now there's no door which is exactly what I was looking for but it still separates the colors very very nicely so we have completed the bedroom another strong color in here uh, with a purple uh, all across the walls little clock there which I'm just noticing now is not quite centered there we go uh, this is the first room where we didn't use those halogen lights. We used uh, just a regular chandelier. I thought it was more appropriate for the bedroom. And here you have to use your imagination. This is basically two TVs, not just... Or this is one TV, not just two. So just pretend it's one big TV. Um, completed it with a little DVD player, laptop, and remote control. And just gave a little area here. Um... I don't know, makeup and whatever other stuff you want to do that can all be done right there. Uh, just put a nice little bed here. I haven't used this one before with the headrest, but I think it looks pretty sharp. And because we don't want the sun coming in here, we went with these uh, dark lines. Um, not the best, because you can still kind of see out of them, but just have to kind of use your imagination that it's just not closed all the way. That's kind of the way I'm seeing it. But yeah, very impressed with this here. We did use the photo of uh, Aurora Borealis. And all we have is now. Um, just a little bit of art in here, I guess. So I guess the next step is doing the outside of the house and deciding if we want to do anything at all for the backyard. So we'll be back in uh, just a minute when we get the house all taken care of. Welcome back. It is time for our final cut. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've got everything done 100% and I'm happy with it. So we'll just do a quick recap of what we've done today. We've done this very beautiful um, bathroom here with the black and the white and the red. We have done this beautiful kitchen with pink and pink and black, pinkish purple, no, I don't know, it's amaranth, that's the color for that. And we have done this little tiny living room with ice blue and black and white. And then we've done our bedroom with purple, white, and black. So black is pretty much a key in almost every room. Actually, it is in every room, so yeah. And now we go to what we've been waiting for, the outside. Three, two, one, go. We've got a little walkway here. It's actually perfect that it's dark out now. You can actually see the solar lights in action. We've lined it here with uh, some bird ponds and bird feeders, both on both sides. Same with the solar lights here. We have added a couple flower beds here, tons of little tiny flowers inside, and then two of the big red ones here. We have added a few apple trees throughout the yard. And we've added a few flower beds here right against the window. Added a nice little hammock for ourselves, as well as a little tool shed in the back. I tried to see if they had a lawnmower or something we could put in there, but I couldn't think of anything that would go in there that the game actually has. We've got a little dog um, house here with a food and water dish. A little barbecue. We have a beautiful pool here with a spot for four sun loungers over on this side. And then we've got a little table here with a tent, uh, for just for sitting, lunch, talking, whatever. A little three-seater uh, swing here. Not like a kid swing, but like an adult swing. Um, I thought that was a nice little touch. And then we've added ourselves a little workout area here. So we've got some bars here, um, a sitting bar. Uh, standing bar I don't really know too much about gym stuff but um, this is what we've got little punching bag 
And then to top it off, we've got a nice little gazebo here, uh, separated from a fence. That way no one just comes over and steals all of our stuff, that's how I'm kind of looking at it. I uh, didn't decide to put anything in here for now, we'll just kind of leave it as an open area. And that's kind of what I'm looking for for that. Got a nice little koi pond here, which is very nicely lit up by the solar lights. And I did put these lights all around the house so that you could actually kind of see the house. And if you'll remember, the house did look terrible. But now it does not. It looks a lot better with this stone brick that we have put up all throughout the house. And I think it just looks really, really nice. So, let's just stand here, take a screenshot, and let's do one of the bathroom. We never get the bathroom. Do a screenshot for the bathroom too. All right, now with that said, making sure I have doors on the house this time. <laughs> with that said, uh, let's sell this house. So we're gonna submit for the garden contest for the American one. I don't exactly know what all these different ones are. I just know that it's not stuff that I really do too much. Um, crop, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we could kind of go for that one because we do have some pear trees, but that's about it. So we'll just stick with American. Not bad. New record. Equipment left as a penalty. I'm not sure what that is, but it is what it is. Uh, either way, we've got an extra 18% from this house from doing the outside. Put it up on auction. So we bought the house for 45,000, really cheap house. Uh, furniture bought and renovation costs is roughly about 23,000. We did sell 6,000 of furniture, so that's 17 on top of the 45 as you're looking at 62,000. We sold the house for 74 and 13,000 bonus for the garden competition, which is pretty nice. So profit is 25,000 on a $45,000 house. Not too bad, but I'm greedy. Let's see if we can get another 8787. Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> cool, take it. So that's another bonus of $8,800 that we got. So, all in all, we're looking at a total profit of $35,767.77. Cool. That is done. Let's take a look at some of these before and after pictures. Ooh, that's nice. That's okay. Not the best view with missing the bed. I like that for the bedroom. Absolutely. And that's basically a picture of the door. <laughs> That's a nice one. I want to save that picture. Cool. Very happy with the way that that house turned out. Uh, got an achievement for something. Cool. I don't really care about the achievements in this game, but it is what it is. So, unfortunately, we've gone another day, but we haven't got a new house for ourselves yet. Um, I am going to be streaming this on... Sunday, which I believe is the 2nd of January, It'd be somewhere in there. And what we're going to do in that one is I think we are going to take over this one, the uninhabited house, and we're going to turn that into our own office. Um, we've sold four houses now. I think uh, it's time for us to upgrade something a little bit nicer. So we'll probably do this one. In my last video, I did leave uh, a spot at the end asking for comments of which house you guys think would be great. And I'm still gonna listen to those suggestions. So if I get enough suggestions asking for something else, then we can absolutely do that. But with all things, it must come to an end. So I am very happy with the way that this episode turned out and I hope you guys are too. 
If you did like the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.